Meet Marco and Sophie. Marco owns a bistro and bar in New York City and wants to open a new location. Sophie wants to build a hip new hotel. Both business owners are short on capital and need more money to make it happen. But how do they get it? EB-5 is a great way to raise significant capital from foreign investors, where the investor can get a green card, so long as the business is creating the right number of jobs. EB-5 money is usually invested in the form of a loan, although there are other options. Our EB-5 process begins with an assessment of your plans. We'll examine the project and make sure it's ready for EB-5. Since EB-5 investors will need to be found, this will include assessing the marketability as well as the viability of the plan. And we'll figure out if the business is located in a TEA or Targeted Employment Area. That's a high unemployment or rural area, meaning that you'll only need to raise $500,000 per investor. If it's not in a TEA, you'll need to raise a million dollars per investor. Once we've qualified the project for EB-5, we'll help figure out which EB-5 track to pursue. That is, through direct investment or through a regional center. A regional center is really a conduit to allow businesses to pool capital and count indirect jobs. Jobs mainly dictate which track is chosen. That is, are any contracted staff being hired, such as, is Marco hiring delivery people? Is Sophie hiring construction workers? Both staff would be contracted. If yes, the money must be raised through a regional center. If no, the money can be invested into the business as a direct investment. Sophie is hiring construction workers and therefore needs a regional center. That means her package will have to include a market study, financial projections, an EB-5 compliant business plan, and an economic impact report to calculate the number of contracted jobs. Plus, Sophie needs immigration and securities counsel in her corner. Marco's project will be direct, because everyone at the bistro will be hired and paid directly by the bistro. Marco's EB-5 package will still need a market study, financial projections, and a business plan, as well as immigration and securities lawyers. But, unlike Sophie's hotel project, Marco's deal won't need an economic impact report since there won't be any contractors. Sound complicated? Leave it to us. And we do it right every time. Our reputation depends on it. After we've worked our magic and prepared a top quality package, Immigration Council can submit the package to USCIS for pre-approval. Then it's time to send it to a licensed broker-dealer to raise the EB-5 money. Once foreign investors are secured, each investor's case will be filed. Once approved, it's time for Marco and Sophie to start building their businesses and creating the critical jobs. We'll make it convenient and easy to get all the documents needed to pave the way to smooth and painless approvals, all from a single source. That is what makes us so valuable and separates us from our competitors. We know in advance what's needed, and we develop superior packages that lead to consistent results. We give developers and business owners like Marco and Sophie the tools to build their American dream.